Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and in today's video we are going to dive into a, a algorithmic problem, maximum subsequence score. So this problem was presented uh, to us with a twist, so we need to maximize our score obtained from two different arrays using a specific scoring uh, system, so let's take a closer look. So understanding the problem is crucial in finding the best solution so our main challenge here is to select the key indices from the array nums1 and utilizing some uh, same indices in num2 as well to calculate our score. So to calculate score uh, is based on two factors. The sum of the selected elements from uh, nums1 array and minimum of the selected elements from nums2. So the real catch is that we need to maximize uh, this score. And for example, we have uh, some uh, given examples. So if key is one, we just pick uh, one element. And for this array, uh, the best solution is 30. Why? Because optimal index is two. So we pick three with some three. So one index with some one index. And we pick minimum from second array, so 10. So uh, and then multiply it. So 10 times 3 is uh, 30. So <laughs> output is 30. But if we have more key, like in example 1, so uh, key is 3 and there are uh, four possible of picking the index. So 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 3, 0, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So we calculate and let's take a look at uh, first example, uh, first uh, indices per, so 0, 1, 2. So we pick a sum of this indices 0, 1, 2. So it's 1 plus 3 plus 3. And also we pick a minimum from uh, same indices. So in this case, 2, 1, 3 uh, numbers of indices 0, 1, 2. So it's minimum of 2, 1, 3. So in this case, minimum is 1. So we uh, the function will be minimum of those numbers. So it's one times the sum of those numbers. So one times seven is seven. And we have uh, four options and uh, the maximum option is 12 with index zero to three. So uh, zero is one, two is three and three is uh, two. So the indices. So basically one plus three plus uh, two and times minimum of uh, two, uh, three, four. So it's two from this array times six from uh, this array. So it's 12 and uh, correct output is 12. So uh, theoretically a very simple function and we need to maximize this function in quite efficient way. So to tackle this, we will use a strategic approach. We will pair up elements from nums1 and nums2 and sort this pair based on the value of nums2 in the standing order. So why? Because the minimum element from nums2 is uh, in our chosen indices play a significant role in our uh, score. So we will uh, then maintain a minimum heap of the top key elements from uh, nums1 to keep our score as high as possible. So let's get into a coding and see how this uh, plan unfolds. So, Hopefully I will get it right from the first time. So function to return the maximum possible score by choosing a subsequence of indices from num1 of length key. So pair each corresponding element from num1 and num2 and sort them based on the value of num2 in the standing order. So to do this pair will be a, b for a, b in zip of num1, num2 and per sort key lambda x minus x to the position of one. So use a minimum heap to maintain the top key elements from num1. So top key heap 
will be x0 for x in pairs of key and top key sum will be sum of top key hip. So hip will be hip if top key hip. Calculate the score for the first key pair. So result will be top key sum times pair key minus one at position of one. So it will be iterating over each num two i as minimum from num two. So for i in range of k to num one, and it will be remove the smallest integer from the previous top key elements. So then at zero one top key elements. So it will be top key sum hip q hip pop top key hip and top key sum plus first of i zero and hip hip push top key hip per i zero and update answer as the maximum score so result will be max of result and top key sum times first at one so return just result and we are done <laughs> so yeah hopefully it will pass so let's uh, test our code with some example to ensure it work as expected so yeah, it's work ex expected for this one and second case is quite easy. So yeah, three times 10, key one, 30, all working uh, as planned. So awesome. So let's submit it for unseen test cases and hopefully it will pass as well. So here is more. Yes, but our solution have successfully passed and uh, yeah, it was daily challenge of May 24, but uh, yeah, so we won't, will not redo it. Yeah. And our uh, runtime is 68% and with respect of memory 28. So really good. And our solution is working as intended and we have successfully tackled the uh, 2,542 number uh, problem, maximum subsequent score. And not only did we improve our uh, Python skills, but we also sharpened our problem solving ability. So uh, good tutorial and let's wrap up this video. And also please like, share and subscribe if you found this uh, tutorial helpful. And uh, if not, you can just uh, like and remember uh, coding is a journey and uh, every problem you solve bring you one step closer to your dream goal. So uh, most important, stay motivated keep practicing. Until next time, happy coding and see you on the next one.